Hello, I'm Sadie Lee. I'm an artist. I'm going to talk to you today about palettes. Not just this kind of thing, which is what you would put your paint on, but palette also refers to the range of colours that an artist would choose to make all their paintings out of. Now, if you go to an art shop, obviously there's hundreds of different colours to choose from. But usually when they're making a painting, an artist wouldn't just go and buy a tube of paint where the colour matches whatever it is that they're trying to paint. They get used to working with a very small, general, limited range, and then they mix those together to try and get a whole range of tones out of them. Now, artists throughout history have got unique palettes that they've kind of discovered through trial and error over the years. And they're all different from each other. For example, the French artist Cézanne reputedly used a whopping 19 colours on his palette. Almost at the other end of the scale, the Swedish artist Anders Zorn managed to get a whole range of tones out of just four colours, which is almost a discipline in mixing. You're probably familiar with these um, sort of little sets that you can get. This one's acrylic, but you can get them in oil as well. Um, it's quite an economical way of doing it. So this pack's got titanium white, cadmium red, cadmium yellow, emerald green, burnt umber and French ultramarine in it. Um, you might think that there's a few things missing. There's not a black that's ready mixed in there. You can actually mix a lot of things just using these colours. So if you want a black, um, then if you just take a bit of the French ultramarine and a bit of this brown um, and mix it together, then you can get quite a sort of convincing black tone um, and mix that up. Obviously, if you're going to sort of make a lot of that, if you use a lot of black in your painting, you might want to just invest in a tube of black paint. But it is supposed to be that it gives you a, a kind of more deep black. If you just buy a, a black paint off the, off the shelf, sometimes it can just dry very, very flat. So you are encouraged to mix your own one. I find in this set that the green is not really my kind of shade. It's very bluey and very bright. Um, the kind of green that I would use, I'd add a bit of yellow to it and then a bit of brown to make it much more earthy. Um, so it becomes like more of a kind of um, mid-tone uh, with less blue in it. And I prefer that. So actually, I'd probably invest in something like a sap green, which would be sort of more suitable to the kind of paintings that I like to do. Um, the thing that I really miss is a kind of mustardy yellow ochre colour. I use that a lot in my paintings. So in order to get that, I've just made it a bit green now, but using a bit of yellow and a little bit of brown together would give you a much more kind of earthy, yellow ochre sort of mustard colour, which I kind of prefer. It's quite good for sort of skin tones as well, um, which is very, very different from just that bright yellow by itself. I find that a bit too bright. So um, you could sort of buy a tube of yellow ochre, which I tend to do, which gives me that colour straight away. Um, or you can kind of get used to mixing it up, which is um, sort of quite a good way to learn about getting different tones out of the range that you've got. This painting is called Marriage and it's by the artist Jennifer McRae. It was selected for the BP Portrait Awards at the National Portrait Gallery in 2020. Maybe the title refers to the fact that the couple don't seem to be getting on very well, but it's actually a self-portrait and we can see the artist at work. If you look at her palette that she's holding, there's very few colours on there. And we're expected to believe that she's made this whole thing using the colours that are on her palette. But if you look at the middle section at the bottom of the painting, that tray seems to be absolutely full of hundreds of tubes of oil paint, all with their different coloured labels on them. Now it would actually be technically impossible to make this painting using just the colours on a palette because each one of those colours would be very, very difficult to mix from the small range of colours that she's got. She would need at least a brown, a darker red and a blue. Definitely a good strong yellow. Thinking about what colours to start with and how to blend them together will teach you a lot about painting, mixing and finding your own unique style. I hope you found it useful. Bye for now.